Hey guys, Jim Cat Chaser coming at you again tonight. Hey, I finally got to take this uh, Polymer 80 out this evening and I ran six mags through it. That's all I had the time to run before it started sprinkling and getting muddy and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, I did run 50 rounds of the Mag Tech. And this here is the uh, 124 grain stuff. Ran that first few mags and it ran flawless I'm so happy that I had no problem with this thing the only thing I did have problems with is uh, is uh, I'm gonna have to work on the side end of it because it was shooting low and left with the red dot but uh, not too bad you know just for trying to line it up the best I could right out of the gate but uh, anyway the rest of the rounds were this here federal all aluminum stuff this was the 115 grain and it had no problem cycling it either it was great so anyway that's that I got a couple boxes of that stuff but uh the uh all the mags I was using were the ETS mags as you see here and one of the uh the uh, P mags great mags all of them are in my mind are good uh we did get some wear on the uh, on the hood a little bit but that's probably going to be typical you see the shiny on the wear and we did get some this is unloaded of course but we did get some wear on the barrel as well which I'm not worried about that and I'm I'm glad this is a stainless steel barrel you can see there's some dirt in there and uh, it's pretty dirty but yeah we've got about 90 rounds through this thing maybe 92 maybe i think it was around 92 but you see the wear on the barrel and i'm like i said i'm not really concerned about that because i can pretty much polish that stuff back out but i want to run some rounds through this thing and uh, just to make sure everything's going to run and as of right now this thing has ran 100 percent so right out of the gate which is good uh which is good i did do a lot of work on the internals the rails all that stuff was was polished uh all that stuff is was polished up you can't really see it now but you can you can kind of see i i did polish you know pretty much everything when i built this thing to save me some headache later yeah that's all polished but anyway it did run good I'm happy about that uh, I don't know will I build another one absolutely I need one for the other hand now so I can have one for each hand I've already got the slide and it's all put together I have to get me a barrel and another frame and then another lower parts kit but I don't know, these things are probably as, as addicted, as addictive as building, a, you know, an AR-15. The only problem with these is that they're quite a bit more money. But, uh, anyway. So far, so good with this stuff. Oh, yeah, I went and picked up, uh, went shopping today. When I went and picked up this, this oh, shoot, ammo. Anyway. Uh, I picked up a couple of goodies. And uh, I'll show you what I got here. I got two Pelican pistol cases. And those things, basically, they retail for around, around 45, 50 bucks, I think. Uh, it's the uh, Pelican blah, blah, blah. I don't know. There you go. That's what it is. But yeah, I picked these up and uh, those were coming at $23.02 a piece. That's pretty dang good for a Pelican case. So I picked those up, couldn't complain about that. And I'll show you my target here, which is not the greatest. Like I said, everything was shooting uh, low and left. So I was aiming here, hitting here. Aiming here, hitting here, 
aiming here, hitting here, aiming center, hitting here, aiming here, hitting here. So I was aiming here, hitting here. So anyway, I've got some work to do on the side end of this thing, but I'm just happy that it, uh, just happy that it ran as good as it did. So I was pretty excited about that. But anyway, guys, that's it for this pistol for a while. You won't see it for a while. I'm going to keep boring you with it, but yeah, there she is. I'm, I'm a digging it. I'm digging it. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Channel cat chaser. We'll see y'all later. I'm out.